Parthenocarpy isn't the only way to get seedless fruit. Next time you bite into a grape, take a look inside. They are seedless, but there's like a little something inside. Those are what should have been fertilized seeds, but they never fully developed thanks to a genetic error called stenospermocarpy. So back in the 1950s, a Japanese scientist treated watermelon plants with a chemical called colchicine. Those chemically treated watermelon plants ended up with four sets of chromosomes instead of the usual two sets. Having more than the usual number of chromosomes is called polyploidy. Having more copies of genes than you're supposed to can cause a whole host of malfunctions, but plants seem to be weirdly tolerant of having extra pairs. And farmers have done something cool with this trick. A watermelon plant with four sets of chromosomes grows flowers like normal. Those get pollinated with pollen from a normal plant with two sets of chromosomes. Because gametes each have half the chromosomes of their parents, the fruit that begins forming has three sets of chromosomes. The juicy red sweet part of the fruit keeps growing like normal. But when the plant detects an odd number of chromosomes in the developing seeds, it pushes the mutant emergency button and those seeds stop growing. That's why seedless watermelons have those little, like, half-formed, not-quite-seed things.